We are back at the 49ers Toyota one-on-one -on -one with 49ers rookie safety Talanoa Hufanga here holding it down right here at the stadium. Um, in our tailgate experience, you've obviously played ball growing up, but have you ever got to experience an actual tailgate? Honestly, a few times. Yeah? A few times. Only when I was young, though. Okay. And then once, once football started to take off, never Not had so a chance much. since. Nope. Okay, nope. what is your favorite part of a tailgate? In my culture, you know, we bring a lot of Polynesian food, a lot of, and you know, I won't even say poly food, I say Hawaiian food. So for me, okay. it's not okay. it's not the traditional wings and, and stuff like that. It's really like Hawaiian food and Polynesian food. So okay. uh, stuff like that is where it gets down. So. Okay, so speaking of, this is fantastic. Speaking of the food, are you a good cook? Uh, It depends what you would say, define a good cook. Cause for me, cooking involves like doing stuff outside. Like my culture will cook on the ground and do stuff like that. So I, I can somewhat get down. Okay. But in the kitchen, nah, uh, not ain't, so much. Ain't, nothing, ain't good like that. Okay. <laughs> All right. So obviously, we are already jumped right into it. Your Polynesian culture. And I know you represent it very well, especially on the field. But what's been the response just from your family, your friends, and just fans around the world watching you play in the NFL? Uh, it's been it's been a blessing. Uh, I truly thank God for this opportunity just to be here. Uh, I'm soaking it all in. I'm having fun. My family's proud, uh, but especially the Polynesian community. You know, I think a lot of it in the Bay Area too. There's a there's a big Tongan community here, uh, and just trying to put on for our culture and put on put us on the map. You know, not a lot of people know of the island of Tonga, but uh, just trying to make the most of it. So we got to talk about the celebrations whenever you make a play. You throw up the T. Now, for the people who might not understand, give us a little history, a little background into the celebration. Uh, not a lot of people use that celebration. It's only a lot of the Tongan, Tongan players, I'll say. Uh, and that's what it is. It stands for is for the Tongan community. Uh, but it's kind of funny because a lot of people thought it meant my name. Because Talanoa, they all just assumed okay. I was throwing the T's up for me. So I just... I kind of ran with that one too, uh, but yeah. <laughs> See, I'm glad that's why we're here, so we can clarify all of this. So it wasn't necessarily the name. All right, um, if I'm not mistaken, you were raised on a farm back in Oregon. Tell me a little bit about being raised on the farm. It's very different. Uh, <laughs> like, you don't have a lot of neighborhood friends. Like, your, your friends are kind of the cows. It's kind of very different. Like, me and my brother, we did a lot together. You know, it's kind of hard when you're playing tag, just me and him uh, all around the property. But, uh, you know, just getting raised on, in a garden, uh, stuff like that. And got cows, chickens, pigs, goats, uh, you name it, we had it. So. <laughs> you said that your favorite activity on the farm was taking care of a goat. Is that right? For the most part, yeah. Why the goat? And then also, if I were to take care of a, of a goat, what is like the number one thing that I should know? One thing that was funny about our goat, uh, it's actually listened better than my dog. Our dog didn't really listen. Not a good trainer. But my goat would go on walks with, like I could take it on a walk and it would follow me without even me have to like pull it. So one thing, I don't know what the goat liked about me, but it, anytime I'd be out there, I didn't even have to put it inside the, like, inside the pen. Sometimes it would just follow. When our cows would get out, like all you had to do is just bring the goat to the cows and the cows would follow you all the way back into the pasture. And so it was just like, it was weird. Don't, don't ask me how, don't ask me why, but. <laughs> Just happen. <laughs> Goats are loyal. They're 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 loyal creatures. That's how we'll say it. Greatest of all time. There we go. Exactly. So from Oregon to Southern California to Northern California with the San Francisco 49ers. Looking back, how would you summarize what this last year has been for you? Uh, it's, it's been crazy. It's yeah? been uh, an incredible process. I think you get to see so many different things in life. Uh, it's just, I'm like blessed. I'm like, I'm kind of spoiled, I'd say, for sure. Uh, but to just be around a great community, great people, uh, great teammates, people that are like just fun to be around. And I try to try to emphasize just this culture and what it is and what it is about. Uh, just try to make the most of it. So I love this. And so I, I hope I'm here for a long time. So. I love it. <laughs> Speaking of uh, being around fun people, you have had the opportunity to be around one of the greatest to ever do it, Troy Palomalu. He's a good friend of yours. And going into this one-on-one, -on -one, we would have had, you call a teammate, to see who's most reliable or something like that. I think we're gonna put you on the spot. <laughs> do you think that Troy would answer if you called right now? No. <laughs> <laughs> do we wanna test this? We test it. All right. Like I trained with him. Okay. And he still didn't answer my calls. Oh. Dang. I'll just show up and he'd be there ready for me, but he still wouldn't answer the calls. So All right. we'll we're, find out. We're going to put Troy to the test. Will Troy Palomalu 
answer Talanoa's call. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> if he answers, this would be like unreal. <laughs> He's probably picking up his kids. Oh. Oh, well, this is a little son. What's up, friend? Hey, I'm doing an interview right now. You want to say hi to everybody? Hi. This friend dog. This the guy. Hi. Oh, yeah. <laughs> friend slice. I'm legit. I did it. I'm doing an interview right now. And they said, pick one person that might call. It might answer. And they asked if he would answer. And I said, no. And you actually, you actually answered my call. Love you, man. Oh, can, can we get a hi to the camera? <laughs> say hi there to the camera. Go. All right, as we wrap up this tailgate, usually a tailgate has food and you have recipes, so you're gonna put together the perfect recipe for me. Give me the best recipe for keeping the energy on game days, because Danico Ryans just spoke about you and he said your energy is contagious. Uh, you have to have a great dance pre-game. Okay. Uh, for me, I, I like to hit the smees because okay. we're in the bay, uh, so that's one thing I love to do, hit the smees. Uh, I'll say another thing, be yourself with your drip. Okay. Yeah, everybody's different. Everybody likes to look good, feel yeah. good, play good. Some people yeah. are very basic with it, like me. Uh, and then lastly, play for the name on your back. There it is. I don't think it gets much better than that. I don't even have a follow-up for that. Fantastic <laughs> uh, responses right there. But now, really quick, who probably has the best sneeze, sneeze in the uh, locker room? Uh, definitely me, because I'm the only one that does it. There you go. Yeah. There it is. Talanoa Hufanga. Thanks for stopping by the one-on-one. -on -one. Appreciate it. <laughs>